Okay, before I start today's shader setup guide for a piece SX2 version 2.0, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, plus it really helps out my channel too, for which I'm always really grateful for. So around a week and a half ago, I released a setup guide for shaders through DuckStation. Of course, that's a really awesome PlayStation 1 emulator. So today we're going to look very briefly in how to set up shaders using PCSX2 version 2.0. So as we can see on my desktop here, I've got PCSX2. If I just open this one up, we can actually do this per game. So if I go up to the game black, if I just right click on this and left click on properties, what we're going to do next is go down to graphics and from graphics you're going to find a post processing tab and this is where shaders are so as we can see under filters tb shader right now none is selected as we can see use global setting none default so what we're actually going to do then is just leave it for none for now and we're going to boot up the game black so if i double left click on that and load back where i just left off from so as we can see right now, this is the introduction video for the game Black, and Black is of course a really amazing game. I've also enhanced this game, as we can see just at the bottom there, uh, 3840 by 3072. I've just upscaled it just so it looks a little bit more fresher. So let's actually apply shaders whilst we're playing the game or watching this video footage. What we're going to do then is go up to settings, we're going to go to game properties, and down to graphics, and again we're going to go back over to post-processing, filters tv shader and just here we're going to drop this down and if we go to scanline filter as you can see right now it's added a really nice effect to this and i think pcsx2 really has some quality shaders in this now once we've actually selected a shader we want we can actually go and enable shades boost and that's going to open up brightness contrast and saturation so we got the game playing in the background right now and it's obscured actually by this window but what I'm going to do is just go up to the light of the game and I've got shade boost enabled so what I'm going to do with this is just increase the brightness and as you can see as I'm toggling that upwards it's obviously getting much brighter. Now, for the ultimate CRT effect of an old school TV, I've always thought that the more contrast is actually the best. So contrast, if I just slide this upwards, just get some contrast in there and add a bit more brightness to it. We've also got saturation. Again, we can toggle this up and down, increase or decrease it. And it's really a matter of taste and preference. Now, just remember, scanline filter is just one of many that we can play with just here. For example, we can go down to lot CRT, and that's going to give us another CRT effect. And I think this one looks really nice. We can actually clear settings if you don't like the brightness, contrast, and saturation tones that you've applied to it. So just go to clear settings. Yes. And there we go. Per game configuration cleared. And as you can see, it's now gone back to default. And that's unfortunately taken away my upscaling. Just remember post-processing, TV shader, and you've got several just here. And each one of these are going to be able to play around with brightness, the contrast, and everything else. Now you can actually install additional shaders for this but this one was pretty much just a straightforward setup guide for beginners anyways that's it for today's pcsx2 and how to apply shaders like i say if this video is popular enough i'm happy to do another video on how to install additional shaders to pcsx 2.0 if you're a fan of playstation 1 then check out my duck station shader setup guide very impressive too anyways that's it so if you liked today's video hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also be sure to check out my standalone emulation playlist that's going to teach you everything from super nintendo right up to rpcs3 playstation 3 also check me out on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro